All right, YouTube, get going with the video number one, engine swap. You guys already seen the bit, uh, the intro. Sorry for the video quality. You guys have told you when it's live. I don't know, my cell phone or something. It sucks. Anyways, first step, we're gonna remove the hood. You're gonna need a 12 millimeter socket. Remember four bolts. Two there. Two there. I remove the hood. Once we remove the hood, we're gonna go ahead and remove battery cover, battery itself air cleaner, air duct, computer, lift the car, remove the wheels. That's gonna be the first steps. Okay, the hood is up, is out, battery is out, battery tray, air cleaner. So now next step, watch. You can remove this one here, cover. You remove the fuses cover. Boom. You can remove 10 millimeter nuts, 10 10. Why? That's because the harness is gonna come out. Boom, boom, just like that. Plug here, plug it in the side. Boom, to the side. So, next step is connect that one so we can disconnect the harness to the ECU. Just so remove that cover in there. ECU covers out with the three. 10 millimeters and it to remove the ECU 310 bolt 310 10 10 remove those two this is three pull it up obviously I need two hands so from here once you have it kind of loose you should be able to plug the tabs boom and release the connector same this Pull it down and release the connector. You're gonna do the same thing on all four plugs so you can get the harness out. Okay, nice and easy. He's removed those two. Those two stays. To remove the gray tab in there with the flat here, forward and up. Boom, just like that. Pull it up. Boom. See that? That's what it takes for the engine harness. Bam, just like that. If you want, you can remove the whole thing so it won't be on your way, you can have more space, blah, blah, blah. You wanna relocate, whatever you want. But from here, the auxiliary secondary air pump, we're gonna remove the secondary air pump. You mainly need 10 millimeters. You see 10 millimeter, 10, 10, 10, whatever, remove that shit out of the way. This one is connected from here. Clamp, hose, that comes out. See the bar, you're gonna remove that one. So before I um, move to the next one, let's try what size is that thing. Move it out of the way. Let's try it. Uh, it's a 13. No, yeah. It's a 12 millimeter. Uh, where's my 12? Oh, right here. It's a 12 millimeter. Boom. 12 here. 12 here. Remove the bar. Bar. Secondary pump. Once we do, we're done on that one, that's when we're gonna lift the car, remove the wheels. Okay, for the update, the car is currently in jack stands. Couldn't be able to remove the wheels because I don't have the wheel lock. So I contact the owner on Instagram and then see where it has a lock. Let's go remove the wheels. Here you can see, secondary air pump is removed, it stays how it is. Harness, everything is removed. Ground from here. Wires on my nut. Let's put this on the side. Right from there. So everything there on the top. So now next step, do you have it on your jack stands? Uh, so you can avoid a big mess. Drain the oil. To drain the oil, as everybody knows, it's a 19 millimeter plug. This is a 2004 or 2005, I believe. With the automatic, this is the uh, trans, uh, engine oil plug. With the oil pan is a 19 millimeter. Just remove, drain the oil. Then once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and remove the starter with the wires. And then we're gonna drain the coolant. To drain the coolant, if you have uh, this, uh, uh, this radiator is new, so this one has the plug in here. So gonna go remove it and drain the coolant. All right, so the engine oil is still draining. 
And now we have uh, I have this one. It's only for coolant. Try to keep it uh, clean from oil for recycle purposes. So in my case, I'm lucky. And then you see the, see the cross in there. So there's one of these bad boys. It's Phillips. Let's go here. Twist it. And remove the drain plug. Let's go ahead and drain that. Just bear with me. There you go. Now the coolant. Don't be cheap and don't buy no cheap coolant. Uh, it takes Ferrari. It's not special, but yeah, just make sure it's the B2 one. Uh, once I get the oil engine oil, which is I the mid two, um, I'll show you guys the video. So the oil, uh, spark plugs, coolant. So you can see and this and that. So why not? So yeah, uh, as you can see, it's not coming out right now. Why? Because we have the stupid. Yeah, don't do that. Don't fucking add a Mazda vinyl sticker. Yeah, no. Just leave the emblem of clear it. So remove this one. And boom. And more is going to come out. Actually, no, you know what? Uh, nothing else is coming out. You know what? Because... They run this shit on low coolant, or the coolant is going inside the engine, that's why. Yeah, that's all. That's all the coolant I'm gonna get for, from the radiator. So I can remember, I'm gonna put the plug back in. Next step, uh, we can plug the oil now. Recycle or, or dump that oil into the barrel. barrel. Plug the radiator. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find the, the tool so I can remove the wheels. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna leave it this far. This is gonna be the, the other video you guys saw, the shitty one with the low quality because it was a, li a live stream. That was the video number one. This one is gonna be the number two. It's 10 2 for the number three. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Quick video. As you guys already know, I'm removing the engine on this uh, RX8 automatic engine. It's gonna be engine swap. Uh, swap as uh, swapping that one in there <laughs> Rotary to the same one, but anyways quick video how to remove the starter on an automatic transmission first you want to do lift the car Drag stance you're gonna go under you're gonna need an impact or Ratchet you're gonna need a 19 millimeter socket 17 17 millimeter socket 12, uh, 12 millimeter, 13, and 10 millimeter. Okay, first we're gonna remove this. This is this bracket under here, center support in there. So we're gonna remove it. One bolt is different, that's the 19 millimeter, and the other two are 17s. So 19, 17s, 19, 17s. So remove that one first. Okay, that one is out. The reason why I'm removing this one is because the engine is coming down. But on this case, I'm just showing you how to remove the starter. If you fit, your hands, everything fits through there without removing that one, go ahead. I'm just giving you, telling you how I'm getting it done. So 19, 17, those are out. This one is there. Now you're going to go ahead and remove a little 10 millimeters there in here. I don't know if you can see it. It's going to hold this thing right here. Oh, it's, it's it's already off, but um, it's a 10 millimeter holding in here. It'll be this bracket. So this one is already removed. So what we're gonna do now? It's gonna be a 12 millimeter bolt for the starter. There's one here, one up, one all the way there, and one down there. All right, you guys can see. Let me see the light. There, boom. I'm trying to fit this. See, that's one. The other one down here. There. So there's one there, one here, and one down here, which is right here. There's gonna be three of those. Sorry if the camera was flipping, but yeah. So, anyways, remove those three. Before that, you're gonna uncover this one from. God damn my fingers. You're gonna uncover this plastic from here cover this one right here is this let me close this this cable here does the wire signal from your switch so 
So you're gonna press it on one side. 